Okay, it's another day. It's cold. It's probably uh, 39 degrees. It's, it's cold for this area. <clears throat> I'm not shivering though, but I do have three layers of jackets on. Um, got my torso toaster, uh, my fleece, and then this um, uh, windbreaker. And uh, it's it's uh, keeping me just warm enough, um, but uh, it's still a little chilly. I gotta wear this blanket while sitting in here. You know, I'm within Wi-Fi range, so I'm hanging out here uh, for that. So that's that's pretty nice. I was just thinking, you know, I got a habit that I I never really talked about. It's really personal. Um, but whatever, I don't, you know, I, I bet other people probably do it. Does anybody wedge uh, toilet paper in between their butt cheeks? Just, uh, um, I, I, I've done it, and I, I'm doing it, in fact, I, I, I'm doing it right now. Uh, like, say uh, you have to fart a lot, all right, from eating too many farting foods, and you got to hang out in the library. Well, it it can get a little noisy. It gets a little windy, and that noise creates a little frapping. You know, you you, you could draw attention to yourself by by the noise. I've spent I've tried as many ways as I could to control the noise of my farting in in a quiet library, and you know, squeezing and and turning and stuff. And it just I. I I'll let out noises and it's, I embarrass myself and I just have to sit there and, in embarrassment, a pause and, um, hope nobody heard. But, uh, when I wedge toilet paper between my butt cheeks, uh, that, I, I could push as hard as I want. I could fart as hard as I want. My only issue is having to deal with, uh, the smell after that. But if I'm, if I'm able to, like, get up and walk away and then fart as I'm walking away, I don't have to worry about the noise. I'll just have to worry about the smell, and and I can walk away from that smell and 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 start spreading it all throughout the library instead, up and down the the uh, the book bookshelves, like the row in between the the bookshelf rows and and all that, just just all over. Um, the smell isn't as much of a problem. That doesn't really point me out unless if, uh, I'm like the only one in a particular area. Um, but the noise definitely gives me away. That's a dead giveaway. Especially it's like sitting on a wooden chair. I don't know. It's just, I can make, especially as quiet as, quiet as the library is. Um, I, I'm, I'm more uh, self-conscious of, uh, of uh, the farting noises. And it's, it's really nice to be able to wedge some toilet paper in between my butt cheeks. To, uh, to just, it's, it's like... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a thong diaper or something. It's, it's something that just cushions this, the, the sound. It, it, it just ends the sound completely, depending on how thick the, the toilet paper is. And I want to make sure I get it nice and thick, get a nice thick piece and then wedge it up there uh, to, to control the noise. Because the noise seems to come from the butt cheeks flapping together or something. Um, because, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't had a problem with uh, the noise um, with the... Uh, with the toilet paper, and I think maybe other people are probably doing it. They just don't talk about it. Um, but uh, it's it's a definitely a good strategy. And if if you I don't know sometimes when I walk around I get a little sweaty. Uh, if I could throw this toilet paper in there, it's it's a it's an absorbent uh, material, so you, uh, it'll control sweating and it, maybe you, you got like diarrhea or something like that. Um, it's, it serves as kind of a, a diaper, but it's more of a direct diaper. Um, you wear a diaper, we're, we're talking about you're, you're, you're going to smear poop between your, your butt cheeks and all that before it even reaches the diaper. But if you wedge toilet paper right in there, uh, in between your butt cheeks and it pretty much, uh, is in contact with your anal sphincter, it almost serves as like a tampon or a, a maxi pad or something. Because it's a direct contact with uh, uh, the the poop, so you're you're drying it out, you're absorbing it. Um, so there's a double duty that's done there. The only problem is if it falls out while you're walking. That's 
that could be embarrassing if you're walking and you see it just you know it just rolls down your leg and on the floor so there's certain uh, times to use it